Let me first say that if you're a Star Wars or a DICE fan, it's probably worth buying Battlefront 2 cheap. When it goes down to £20 in the UK or $25 in the US or the equivalent in the rest of the world, you might want to pick it up. The graphics and sound are amazing. The campaign is interesting enough and the multiplayer experience sometimes exciting and occasionally fun. Ignore all the hype about loot boxes and pay to win because sure, the progression system in this game leaves a lot to be desired, but it's, not, it's simply not as bad as the moaners on the internet would have you believe. Battlefront 2 is a solid game, but it's not a great game. When it's up against the likes of Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty World War 2, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, or even the last Star Wars Battlefront game, its multiplayer isn't anywhere near as exciting or as simply fun to play as those titles. The biggest disappointment for me is that Star Wars Battlefront 2 should be the Star Wars version of Battlefield, if a little more arcade-like, but it simply isn't. The developer DICE, presumably under the orders from their bosses at EA, haven't included the fun elements of simple objectives and squad play in Battlefront 2, and they're the things that make the Battlefield franchise so good. The big 40-player battle mode of Battlefront 2 is Galactic Assault, which is an asymmetric objective-based game mode that simply is too complicated and plays out on maps that are often too enclosed, too confusing, and don't leave the player with enough tactical options. Although you may spawn in with a group of players, there's no true squad play in Battlefront 2, which is a core mechanic in Battlefield, and there isn't even an overall map for you to look at to choose where you want to spawn, leading to awful running simulator moments where it takes you far too long to get back into the action. Even 2015's Battlefront 1 allowed you to spawn in on a teammate so you could get back into the fight faster than this. Here's an example of a Battlefield 1 spawn screen in the simple Conquest game mode, which is sadly missing from Battlefront 2. As you can see, I can spawn in on any of the objectives that our side have captured, or onto any of my squad mates. I get a good idea of how the overall battle is going, and can choose to join in in the thick of the action or further back, it's all up to me. This is the Battlefront 2 spawn screen. I'm just grouped in with some random players and thrown in you know way too far from the action there's no overall map to look at i've no idea how the battle is going and if i get killed quickly i've got to do the exactly the same thing over and over again here's an example of a conquest map from battlefield one marvel at how lovely and open it is with cover to hide behind flanking routes to use and loads of different objectives to head towards there aren't that many choke points but there are changes in height all over the map there's buildings that can be destroyed multiple vehicles are flying around and driving around and i can make my own adventure on this map in this game mode playing how i want to now this is a typical battlefront 2 galactic assault map you know, just look how closed in we are. There's choke points all over the place, perfect for that crap grenade spam and heavy shield users. It's easy to get lost in the tunnels and corridors, and there's very little long lines of sight. Our objectives are limited and incredibly linear. You know, to win this game mode, you've got to slug it out on those objectives without much room to maneuver. And then, and then, they throw in the heroes, so you'll get something like the Emperor running around just going on these massive killing streaks. Because if you come around the corner and Darth Vader's there, you know, or if you're on the other side, Luke Skywalker's there, you're dead. You know, there's nothing you can do. I think my view of Battlefront 2 was too skewed by the free beta. In that trial we had access to the initially very open Galactic Assault map on Naboo and the kind of Argon Forest-like strike level. And I think they're probably two of Battlefront 2's best maps. And too many of the others are corridor-dominated grenade fests without the freedom of movement and strategy you get from Battlefield games. So it comes down to this. I want Battlefront to be a Star Wars skinned version of Battlefield, but it simply isn't. Although Battlefront 2 is an okay game, only buy it cheap because for some reason EA and DICE have taken what should have been a surefire winner and instead made it too complicated for its own good. Instead of having free flowing conquest battles, we have choke points and grenade spam. Instead of the open areas of Hoth, big deserts of Tatooine, or even Endor with all its trees, we're fighting inside space stations and buildings, which is, you know, it's never a fun experience. Battlefront 2 then, worth buying cheap. 
but it's definitely not Star Wars Battlefield. Okay, so that's enough from me. Put what you think in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.